I'm John Devo, and we're here at the Broadcast and Video Expo with James Banfield from Nikon to have a look at the new D4S. So James, tell me a little bit about the camera. Okay, so the D4S, um, it, a lot of the changes are actually under the hood. So as you can see from the external, it looks very similar to the D4, which it replaces. But some of the changes that have gone on underneath the skin are absolutely huge. But the most important change is the X Speed 4 image processing engine. This allows us to do a huge amount. We have a far more powerful engine inside the camera. Um, and one of the biggest impacts it has is on the ability, the camera's ability for noise reduction, um, color processing, and of course, um, AF performance as well. So, uh, talking about noise reduction, um, the camera now has an ISO range from 100 um, to 25,600 with an extended of high 4, which is 408,000 ISO equivalents. So it's absolutely class leading in that sense. But the most important thing with that is actually the effect it has on the rest of the ISO range. It means that we're getting a good stop to maybe a stop and a half improvement in what was already an iconic camera for low light. Um, in terms of the autofocus, another key area for a camera of this type, we have significant improvements there. So we have a new group area AF mode, and that group area AF mode significantly improves acquisition, so the ability for the camera to quickly pick the subject up when it's moving fast, and to hold on to that subject and, and, and maintain tracking during, uh, during the burst. So one of the things we've done is we've actually changed the mirror box in the D4S, and this mirror box now means that not only can we get 11 frames per second out of the camera, but we can also decrease the amount of blackout times, so the amount of time that you actually lose the subject because the mirror's moving around. So you, not only can you visibly see the subject very clearly during the burst, but this also means the AF system can see it as well. And these improvements overall significantly um, Im improve the acquisition and the general usability of the camera in really challenging sports and tough environments where you are really pushing the product to its limits. So you mentioned some changes you made to the button layout. Could you just talk us through those changes between the D4S and the D4? Yeah, so um, the most noticeable ones are actually on the back of the camera. So we've adjusted some of these buttons here to make them easier to grip and find when you're shooting fast action and, and you're in the heat of the moment. On top of this, the AF positioning, then the, the way the buttons actually are raised and the area around it, these have also been changed. Very subtle changes, but actually make a, a slight improvement in the ergonomics. And ergonomics are very important to Nikon because what this means is it helps the photographer actually get that image where obviously if they're changing from landscape to portrait, moving very quickly and very uh, uh, fluidly, having those buttons in exactly the right place where they expect them will make the difference between getting the shot and not. And you mentioned there's some improvements to the battery life as well? Yeah, so the battery has also um, been increased by about 20%, so we actually have a higher capacity battery in the D4. And the D4 was no slouch in this area at all. It was already class leading in terms of its battery performance. So the D4S further takes that another generation. It means that the photographers can go out for longer. They, what you tend to see these days is, you know, a pro photographer is a tough life. They're working long hours, long days, and the last thing they need is to be switching batteries halfway up a mountain. So the ability for them to take the camera out in the morning, carry on shooting thousands of frames without fear that they're ever going to run out of battery charges is important for them. Um, and the other reason it's important these days is that at major events, these cameras are actually connected to networks. So when you've got network connectivity, that will actually slightly decrease your battery power. So having increased battery power means that these cameras can remain connected to the networks. They can transmit those images quicker. And this camera in particular has a gigabit um, uh, connection. So it's faster than what the D4 was in the Ethernet connectivity. And that is, you know, these are the core areas for the target market, which is, you know, press, sports, and wildlife. Um, certainly on the first two, transmission speed and um, low light capability and AF ac ac accuracy are absolutely vital to the difference between your image getting ahead of the competition. And this is what the D4S is designed to do, it's to help you maintain yourself ahead of the competition. And at first glances, the D4 and the D4S are very similar cameras. What small tweaks have you made to the camera? There's lots of tiny adjustments that we've made inside, just, just by listening to what people are doing and, and photographers' feedbacks. So you know, some of the nice little features is, for instance, you can assign the function button on the D4S to actually trigger a remote. So um, normally for sports photographers, they would have a couple of remotes. Let's say football as an example. You'll have one or two remotes behind each goal mouth. And when you fire the shutter button, if you're using a Pocket Wizard or maybe Nikon's WR1 in the future, um, when you sh fire the shutter button, it triggers that camera every single time. On the D4S, you can actually assign the function button, so if you press the function button, it will fire your remote, or alternatively, it will not fire it if you hold it down and press the shutter button. 
so you have a reverse effect. Um, and these little features are things we've got from listening to the pro and understanding what their actual needs are and in developing them in the next product that we brought out, in this instance, the D4S. There's okay. other little tweaks that we've added as well. So for instance, those that were shooting clean HDMI out on the video feed, we've now made it available so that you can actually get clean HDMI out and on top of that, you can record internally as well. So you can be recording um, full HD internally and sending the full HD transmission out whilst getting a monitor on the back. Something that previously wasn't available on the D4 is now available on the D4S, and that's all from listening to the customer and getting their feedback for the next generation. So what feedback have you had from the pros who've actually used the camera in tough conditions? Well, the lucky individuals that we've, we've have been able to actually shoot with the D4S in you know, live environments where it does matter, where you've got to get the image, um, so far have said nothing but praise over the D4S. Um, and, you know, Nikon listens to, to photographers constantly. We're always listening at feedback, etc. So as much as this is a camera designed by Nikon, I would actually argue it's a lot also designed by our customers because it's those pros that give us the feedback that, that actually change the future models that, that we release. Um, but the feedback we've had so far on D4S has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it's the, it's the things that don't necessarily jump out on paper um, in terms of the numbers, it's the image quality, it's the acquisition, it's the number of sharp frames they're getting, it's the fact that it works in insanely cold conditions and it still tracks for 18, 20 frames pin sharp right from the beginning where it picks it up and the ability for it just to work in insanely low light conditions or challenging situations where actually the lighting's awful but it makes the subject matter look great and, and this is what we've seen so far and the guys that have had a chance to shoot with it, it was a struggle to get the camera back from them for that way. The Nikon D3S was a wonderful camera, did amazing things. And I think for some photographers, upgrading to the D4 wasn't necessarily vital for them. What differences in the D4S do you think is now going to convince the D3S owner to upgrade? I think if you're coming from a D3S to a D4S, I mean, we're, we're in a great situation here at Nikon. We've had, you know, from a D3, we've had such amazing products come out in this lineup where, you know, it's, it's a credit to those products that the photographers haven't necessarily had the need to update because they're still actually performing at this day and age where the technology's improved like some five years later or more, in fact, in some cases. So that's a credit to what we've done before. In this instance, though, I think the biggest thing that the photographers are going to see is transmission. Everything today is about transmitting the images. So the guys that are shooting sports or they're shooting uh, press, the ability to have an Ethernet output, they can plug the camera in and transmit quickly, or the small WT5 unit where they can actually use their pocket phone to use the transmission, these are features that are absolutely paramount to a, you know, the, the photographer, be it they work for an agency or if they're a small independent. Transmission is almost as important as the image itself now in these areas. And for this reason, uh, the D4S with its gigabit connectivity is going to be absolutely one of the key factors for pros that are going to need to upgrade. It's not just going to be about the image quality, which is going to be a huge upgrade in the, the D3S if they're coming from it, but also it's about the ability for the camera to transmit as quickly as possible and get those images ahead of the competition. And talking about competition, great, great way to end on, how do you feel like the D4S stacks up against the current lineup from other competition? I think, you know, it, it's, been a, it's been a fantastic environment for pro photographers over the last couple of years. Um, and both ourselves and competitors have really stepped up the game of what we're delivering to our, our, um, our customers at the end of the day. And I would honestly say the D4S not only matches anything that's out there, but it really does show what the future looks like. Um, and it, it's the most important thing is, <laughs> I can't stress enough, it, when someone uses it, it's, the, it's the, the usability of the camera. Once you actually use the image and you see the images coming out, that's the thing that actually makes you smile the most. Um, it's the quality of the image that's coming out of the camera. It's, it's a real jump forward um, compared to anything that's out there at the moment. So James, thank you for your time. I really appreciate you giving me the, the chance to meet the D4S in person. And thank you for watching.